the way. A Claremont County man accused of murdering his three young sons wants the statements he made to police thrown out. Thanks for joining us at four o'clock. I'm Sheree Palillo and I'm Ashley Kirkland. The attorneys for Chad Doerman claims his rights were violated in the hours and days after his arrest last June when Clayton and Hunter and Chase Doerman were killed. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson is live outside the Claremont County Courthouse where a judge heard those arguments today on the defense's motion to suppress Doerman's statements. Karen. Actually, the judge did listen to testimony today from both jail staff as well as Claremont County Sheriff's deputies. The people called to the stand today were some of the first people to uh, interact with Chad Dorman after his uh, three young sons were shot to death outside the family's home on Laurel Lindale Road. Dorman is accused of murdering his sons, three-year-old Chase, four-year-old Hunter, and seven-year-old Clayton. Defense attorneys claim deputies made themselves present in the jail cell during privileged communications between Dorman and health care providers and recorded them. The defense also says Dorman's rights were violated after his arrest. They say he invoked his right to counsel at least twice during an interrogation and deputies, excuse me, detectives ignored that request. When a custodial interrogation is underway, and the suspect clearly says, I want a lawyer, that isn't the start of a test. That's the time they stop. They stop, get up, and go. The evidence that was presented during this hearing will show that the detectives with the Claremont County Sheriff's Office and staff at the Claremont County Jail did everything properly and upheld the defendant's constitutional rights from beginning to end. And one of the detectives who was on the stand for quite a while today was the detective who initially interrogated Dorman. And he said that it was unclear to him that Dorman was asking for a lawyer. You will hear directly from him coming up tonight at 5 o'clock. Uh, now it's going to be up to a judge to rule on whether the statements get suppressed. Reporting live in Batavia tonight, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. And Karen, on that front, any idea when the judge will make a ruling? I expect it will be about a month. I know the judge said he's going to uh, take what he heard today. He also wants to watch and listen to some of the recordings from this case. And so it'll be sometime in March is when we expect him to issue a ruling. Karen Johnson reporting live. Thanks so much, Karen. Also break.